Holy cow, equestrians collect a lot of ribbons. At least I know I've collected a lot of ribbons over the years with the horses that I've had. And I've made videos in the past showing you different ways to display your horse show ribbons, rosettes, whatever you want to call them. But you know, hanging them on a wall, that's, you know, everybody seems to be doing that. So I thought it would be really fun to try some different ways to use my horse show ribbons in a DIY style. So let's get started. All right, so these are all of my ribbons. Holy cow, there's a lot of them. And first I'm gonna go ahead and tear them apart. I'm going to dismember the ribbons. Seems a little odd taking the ribbons apart. It was like, holy cow, I worked really hard for these and now I'm just going to destroy them. But really it is for a better purpose, I promise. So I'm just removing all of the halter hangers and I'm separating like the ribbon streamers from the rosette portion of each of the ribbons or rosettes that I have. Now I found by doing this and doing it ahead of time and like taking apart a bunch of ribbons at one time, it was actually easier than doing one at a time while I was doing my project. And I have a bunch of projects for you. And the first one we're gonna start off with is a ribbon wreath. So I'm gonna take a bunch of the ribbons, the streamer portions of the ribbons, and I'm going to attach them to this wreath form. Now this wreath form is very affordable. I got it at the Dollar Tree, and I'm just gonna secure the ribbon onto the wreath form. And I found by using one half of the ribbon, then I could use the other half of the ribbon on the opposite side of the ribbon part on the wreath. Now I'm not gonna show you the entire process of this being done, okay? Don't worry. That would make like a three day long video. So this is what my wreath form looks like by just continuing the process of securing each of the ribbons onto the wreath form itself. And once I was all done, this is my end result. So that looks kind of cool just like that, right? And I did want to put a couple of tails onto my wreath. So I just took some of those ribbon tails again and secured them in place with some hot glue. This is the front of it. So now I'm going to take a rosette portion and I'm just going to secure that onto the front of the wreath. So this basically looks like a giant rosette with the ribbons and the different like classes and stuff that I was in. Those are going around the outside. And here is what the completed wreath looks like hanging up in my tack room. I wanted to show you one more wreath. And again, I got the wreath form from the Dollar Tree. This is a larger one. This is an 18 inch wreath form. I was really surprised they had wreath forms this large at the Dollar Tree. But I had all of these ribbons that I actually had made for the budget equestrian. And you know what? They were just on a shelf and they weren't being used. So I was like, I'm gonna put these to good use. So I'm separating the ribbon from the rosette. And sometimes this can be a little bit challenging 
but I'm basically just removing the bridle hook and then separating the ribbon streamers from the rosette. And since I had so many of those yellow ones, I just did a whole bunch of them. And then I'm going to secure the rosette to the wreath form just using some hot glue. Now you can see I have a silicone mat underneath the wreath form. I highly encourage you to use something like this if you're going to be making a wreath like this because that glue will get onto the table or whatever surface that you're working on. So now I'm just gonna make my way around the wreath form and secure the rosettes in place. I had a lot of these yellow ones, so this is gonna be like the base for my wreath form. And then I'm just gonna use a whole bunch of other rosettes and I'm just going to secure them onto the wreath as well. There's no rhyme or reason of how I'm doing this. I've just got a bunch of rosettes that I wanna be able to see the rosette portion because I think it's really pretty. And I think I like this much better than hanging all of the ribbons on a wall. To me, it just looks a little bit sloppy and it's been done. So I wanted to do something different so I can enjoy all of the rosettes that I've won in the past with my horses. And I thought this would be a really great way to do that. And there is my beautiful rosette wreath. But of course, you know I'm gonna add some tails. So I just picked out some of the ribbons that I liked and played around a little bit with those ribbons to make a pretty fancy tail for the bottom of the wreath. Now, if you're doing this for yourself, you don't necessarily have to make the tails like that. It was just something that I really liked and I thought it was a good way to use up some of those ribbons. And then I did take one of the blue ribbons that I got. I thought it would look really pretty and I think I was right. I'm really happy with how this wreath turned out as well. All right, we're done with the wreaths. Let's do something easy. I have this really large glass jar that I got at Goodwill, so a thrift store. And I'm going to basically just fill up this glass jar with some of those rosettes after I clean it, of course. Now this is a really easy project. All you gotta do is have a big glass jar and a bunch of rosettes that you can put into that glass jar. No gluing or glue gun is necessary. So now I'm just going to fill up the jar with the rosettes. And because I'm not using any glue, I can move around and change out the rosettes if I want to. Some of them are larger than the other one, so you have to bend them a little bit to get them into the glass jar. But I think all of those different colors look really pretty in the glass. Now some of these rosettes have a lot of meaning to me and I think they're really pretty. So again, another way to display some of the rosettes or horse show ribbons that you've won in your past. And again, it's not taking up a whole wall. You can just have a collection of these ribbons. You could even color code them if you wanted to. So have a jar like this with red ribbons, one with blue ribbons, or like what I'm doing, just a hodgepodge of ribbons.
then I just took some of the folded tails and just kind of put those in to take up some space into the glass jar. And then I topped it with one of my own ribbons, the Budget Equestrian. Isn't that cool? Then you can just put it onto a shelf, someplace that you can enjoy it all the time. All right, now we have, oh my goodness, this is such a fun one. So I got this wood at the Dollar Tree, and what I'm doing is just taking some of these tails from ribbons, and I'm just going to secure them onto that backboard, that wooden board. And I thought it would be fun to basically use all of the ribbons that do have writing on them. And the reason I'm doing something like this is because I do want to have some place to put the ribbons, like the ones that are really special to me. So I'm just basically making something that I can hang on the wall that I can actually hang the most current ribbons on. And again, I thought this was a good use for all of the ribbons that I have that have writing on them. And once I had it completely covered on the front, then I just flipped it over and I secured the ribbons onto the back of the hanger. I just did this with the rest of the little ribbons that were hanging over. and then cut away the excess. And just for a little something extra, I did take just some plain gold ribbon and I did put that in between all of the little ribbons just for a little something extra. Bling, maybe. And then all I had to do was secure those little gold ribbons onto the back as well. Now once I was done with all of the ribbons, I took a couple of these tumbling tower blocks and this is how I'm going to be hanging up this wall hanger because what I want to be able to do is put the ribbons on it and they have the bridle hooks so I wanted the hanger to stand away from the wall a bit and these tumbling tower blocks work perfect for that then I just secure some twine and cover that twine with a little bit more of the ribbons so that way the twine will not come out of the hot glue And once the glue had dried, then I removed the excess jute. And now I have a really cool hanger to hang up my special ribbons. And here are my special ribbons that are actually hanging on the hanger. 
in my craft room on my little tribute wall to my horse frisbee. All right, now this is a project I've been wanting to do for so long. This is a leather belt. I think I got it on Amazon for around $10, but I wanna make a ribbon belt. I've seen versions of these done, but I wanted to try something a little bit different. So I am literally just taking those ribbons and I'm going to glue them to the belt. Yeah, I know that sounds a little bit weird, but believe me, it really, it works. So I'm just using my hot glue gun and I'm going to secure the ribbon to the belt. I'm gonna go ahead and cut off the end once it's on the back. And then I'm literally just going to keep wrapping that ribbon around the belt and securing it with hot glue. Now for this, I really wanna make sure it's gonna stay in place. So I am going to wrap the ribbon around the belt several times. Then I'm just gonna go ahead and cut away the remaining ribbon. Now this is a very time consuming process, so I'm not gonna show you the whole process again, but I just wanted to show you, I just continued using different colors of ribbon and I basically worked my way all the way down the belt. This is a really fun way to use those show ribbons that may just end up in a box. Now, when I got to the end of the belt, this got to be a little bit more challenging because this belt does have the buckle. So you need to have something that you can, you know, poke through the buckle holes. So what I did was I just took a nail and, and I used the end of my hot glue gun just to heat up the nail. And then I poked that nail through that hole and just kind of hammered it in a little bit through the ribbon. To make the nail go all the way through the ribbon. Now my goal with this is so that I can actually wear this belt and the ribbon is not gonna fray around those belt hole edges. This is the belt once it's all done. Even all the way down to the belt holes. So I did want to add a little bit of extra something. So I took some more of the ribbon that has that lettering, the gold lettering on it. And I just randomly placed those pieces of ribbon on the belt. And here is my finished belt. Oh my goodness, you guys, this is so pretty and I love how it turned out. I can totally see wearing this to a horse show and it becoming a horse show good luck charm. Right, we are almost done. I still have a lot of ribbons that need to be used up. So I've got a fun and easy project. We're gonna make some ribbon covered photo frames. 
And these picture frames actually came from the Dollar Tree. I like the wide top and those are actually perfect for attaching these ribbons to. So I'm just taking tails of the ribbon and I'm just kind of playing around, coming up with a pattern to see what I want this to be like. And then using some Aileen's craft glue, I think it's Aileen's craft glue, I just made some ribbons. I like made fancier ribbons and these are gonna go on top of the picture frame. So this is the smaller picture frame. This is a four by six frame and I'm using that craft glue again and I'm just gonna secure the ribbons in place. And I think you guys all know how much I love crafting. So these projects are perfect for me as a DIY type person. And if you like different DIY projects and stuff like this, then I highly encourage you to subscribe to my channel. Go ahead, click that subscribe button. And if you click the bell notification, you'll be alerted every time I have a new video coming out. And then you can make different equestrian crafts like this for yourself. And I'm gonna go ahead and secure the last piece in place. Okay, once the glue was dry, then I flipped over the photo frame and secured the ribbon to the back. Now for this part, I did use the hot glue gun. I only did that on the three sides though. The side with the first place, that is actually gonna stay just like it is because I don't wanna bend the words on that first place. And even though those ribbons are double layer, it was very easy to secure it in place on the back of the photo frames with the hot glue. And it basically just wrapped the edges like a present. So there is my finished picture frame. I did add a little bit of gold ribbon fringe to the bottom of the first place. And then I took a printed picture of one of my ponies and I put that into the photo frame. Now for the larger photo frame, I'm gonna do something a little bit different. Kind of like I did the belt, I'm just going to wrap these pieces of ribbon around the photo frame. But on this one, I really liked the wording, so I'm gonna cut that out and save that for later. But this was a really fun project to use some of the rosettes and the ribbons that I've won in the past and have it so I can actually enjoy these ribbons and they're not just hanging on a wall or sitting in a box somewhere. Because let's face it, when you win a ribbon, you, there was a lot of work that went into that. And for me, I want to not necessarily show off, but I want to see the ribbon and I want to see, you know, this is what my hard work went into. So finding different ways to use the horse show ribbons, for me, this was a no brainer. This was so much fun and a really great way to use up all of the ribbons 
and create some unique and original equestrian art for my home. So again, I'm just securing the ribbons to the photo frame, basically like I did for the belt. And I just repeated the process on all four sides of the photo frame. And once everything was all done, then I went ahead and put in my awesome horsey picture, secured it in place, and here are the awesome photo frames that I made using Dollar Tree picture frames and horse show ribbons. I'm so happy with how those turned out. I'm super happy with how everything turned out. So the wreaths, everything, I mean, all of these projects were so much fun to make. They were so easy to do. And like I've said several times, now I can actually display my horse show ribbons in unique and original ways, and it's something that I created. Well, I hope you liked it. That's it for today's video. Bye!